Elvis Presley, step into the rhythm of history with a man born to shake up the world. On January 8, 1935 in the heart of Tupelo, Mississippi, a legend was born. From humble beginnings amidst the trials of the Great Depression, emerged a force of music, a source of unbridled joy. With roots deeply entrenched in the soulful sounds and vibrant culture of the American South, Elvis Aaron Presley burst onto the scene destined for greatness. Known far and wide as the king of rock and roll, his name became synonymous with revolution, his legacy an unstoppable force in the annals of music history. His music was a unique cocktail of blues, gospel, and country, a concoction that had never been heard before. Elvis's sound shattered the rigid norms of the music industry, introducing a fresh and vibrant beat that held the world in thrall. His performances were electric, filled with a raw energy that was both intoxicating and infectious. The charisma he exuded, combined with his stunning good looks, made him a magnetic figure in the world of music. Elvis's impact spanned across decades and genres. The Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Madonna, and Bruno Mars are all artists who were significantly influenced by his groundbreaking style. His sound continues to shape the music industry, his style serving as a blueprint for countless musicians. Despite the passage of time, his influence remains deeply ingrained in the world of music. This man, of course, is none other than the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Born in 1935, Elvis Aaron Presley's journey to the spotlight was far from smooth. Emerging in Tupelo, Mississippi, in a modest two-room house built by his father, Elvis's story began. This humble dwelling signified the modest beginnings that shaped his character. Life was far from serene as Elvis and his kin encountered frequent financial struggles. Amidst the adversities, a ray of hope emerged. This ray was music. From an early age, Elvis cultivated a deep affection for music, a passion that would steer his life and significantly influence the music industry. Gospel music proved particularly appealing to him, leading to his frequent enrapturement in the captivating harmonies at the local church, the First Assembly of God. Yet his initial encounters with music were not all positive. In fact, his music teacher once boldly proclaimed he was devoid of musical talent. A claim that, we can say with certainty, was wildly off the mark. This harsh assessment, however, did not deter the young Elvis. Instead, it incited his determination to demonstrate his worth. He would devote countless hours to refining his skills, practicing guitar, and exploring diverse singing styles. His mother, Gladys, was his most ardent supporter, inspiring him to express himself through song. Their humble living room served as Elvis's private stage, where he could fully delve into his musicality. As Elvis aged, his dreams matured with him. He began to imagine a future under the limelight, an arena where he could share his adoration for music on a grand scale. Elvis was acutely aware that the journey to fame would be arduous, filled with unexpected twists. Nevertheless, he was prepared to confront these challenges. He was eager to extend his music passion beyond the confines of his humble, with dreams of a future in the spotlight, Elvis was ready to take on the world. It was this fervent aspiration, this steadfast resolve, that would eventually catapult him from the backwoods of Mississippi to the dizzying heights of international fame. This was the humble beginning of the king of rock and roll. As Elvis's fame grew, so did his generosity. Now, isn't it fascinating that the king of rock and roll, known for his swiveling hips and melodious voice, was also a king of kindness? Indeed, Elvis Presley's generosity was limitless. He loved giving, and he did it with flair. Buying lavish gifts for his close ones was his favorite pastime, yet his magnanimity wasn't limited to his inner circle. He loved extending his love to strangers by surprising them with luxurious gifts. Speaking of gifts, let's discuss Cadillacs. Elvis had a deep affection for these automotive masterpieces, but the intriguing part was that Elvis didn't keep these marvels to himself. He was famous for gifting Cadillacs. We're not talking about just a couple of Cadillacs. It's said that Elvis bought over 100 Cadillacs for various people in his lifetime. Their social standing or background didn't matter to him. If he felt like giving, he gave. These acts weren't publicity stunts. They were sincere gestures reflecting Elvis's generous soul. They were as grand as his larger-than-life persona and a mirror to his big heart. This won him the love of fans and strangers alike. But his generosity wasn't confined to material gifts. It spanned his time, attention, and care. He had the knack of making people feel acknowledged, feel cherished. That, indeed, is a gift more worthwhile than any Cadillac. 
His giving nature, his generosity, his kindness, these traits elevated Elvis beyond being just a rock star. They made him a star in the truest sense, shining brilliantly in a world that often seemed dim. So when we think of Elvis, let's remember not just the music, not just the moves, but the man who gave with all his heart. Elvis's generosity was as grand as his larger-than-life persona. Perhaps one of the most touching examples of Elvis's generosity was his donation to St. Jude Children's Hospital. Elvis was deeply moved to make a difference in the lives of sick children, so he gifted the Potomac, a former presidential yacht, to this extraordinary institution. Not any ordinary boat. The Potomac was a significant part of American history, a ship that had once carried presidents. In true Elvis style, he chose to part with this valuable artifact for a cause dear to his heart. St. Jude, upon this substantial gift, decided to sell the yacht, raising an impressive $55,000. This sum wasn't merely a donation, it was a lifeline. The proceeds from selling the Potomac were used to build a state-of-the-art research facility to save lives. Before this, St. Jude was relatively unknown with just one hospital in Memphis. This act of kindness changed everything. The publicity following Elvis's donation increased Saint visibility exponentially. Suddenly St. Jude was recognized worldwide and people wanted to support its mission. Today, St. Jude is known for saving countless children's lives, providing hope to families globally. A significant part of this success can be traced back to a yacht, a generous heart, and a man named Elvis. His act of has had a lasting impact at St. Jude Children's Hospital. His generosity still reverberates through the very structure that his donation helped build. Elvis, known worldwide as the king of rock and roll, holds a special place in the story of St. Jude. To them, he will always be a hero, a beacon of hope, and a symbol of enduring generosity. Elvis's act of kindness left a lasting legacy at St. Jude Children's Hospital. His generosity echoes through the halls of this institution, reminding us of the power of compassion and the difference one person can make. Elvis Presley's connection to Memphis extended beyond just his personal life and music career. He also had a strong bond with the city's community and culture. Despite achieving international fame, Elvis remained deeply rooted in his hometown, frequently participating in local events and supporting various charitable causes. Additionally, his presence in Memphis continued to draw fans from around the world, contributing to the city's tourism industry and solidifying its status as a music destination. Elvis's legacy is not only felt through his music but also through his enduring impact on the city that he called home. Elvis Presley may have left this world over four decades ago, but his impact continues to be felt to this day. Rising from a humble boy in Mississippi, Elvis became the king of rock and roll, enchanting millions with his music. His journey was filled with obstacles, but he persevered, showing that talent can spring from unexpected places. Even amidst fame, he stayed humble, generously showering gifts on others, but his main legacy was his dedication to improving the world. His donation to St. Jude Children's Hospital remains a symbol of his enduring spirit, inspiring hope for numerous families globally. Today, as we celebrate his life and contributions, we remember the words of the man himself. Thank you, thank you very much.